everyone, welcome. I want to show you today in Metamoji um, how to create a new note and um, how to input a file, a PDF file, into Metamoji to use as your base for building in your planner. So you're going to click over here on the hamburger. We're going to click read file. And then you're going to click on PDF and it's going to open up your files. So you're going to go to wherever you save your files, um, find the document that you want to use as your base. So I'm going to select this one and click on open and it's going to ask me how big I want it and where I want it spaced on the screen. And so I just leave it at the default setting there and it will drag pull your document into Metamoji so now you have a new uh, base to build off of your planner off of and you can add to this stickers text um, handwriting and you can see it's dragged all these five pages of this document over here make it a little bit bigger next I'm going to show you how to add um, pictures and stickers so what you're going to do is click on the plus sign click on add a picture and it's going to open up your uh, whatever you save your files on documents on your computer so you're just going to find the one file that you want to open to use Find the image that you want to add to your planner page. And you can see I have many different things to choose from. Pictures, calendars. These are all JPEGs. And when you click on open, it's going to ask you the resolution settings. I always click on high. This is helpful if you want to print it eventually. It'll give it the best um, clarity in printing. And when you have your uh, JPEG or PNG sticker, that you want to work with it'll plop up here you want to go over here to the top and it automatically opens up your pencil tool so you want to click on the lasso tool so that you can manipulate the sticker I like to move it off to the side and when you click on it it gives you the menu you can move it you can edit the image you can copy pay copy or cut or remove it I'm gonna um, click on edit the image and when I do that it opens up another view of it and it's defaulted to this the square where you can uh, click on the, the handles and resize it or pick the area that you want. You could also use a freehand crop tool and it'll crop to whatever area you circle and then it just it'll paste just that area and deletes all the other um, part of that so I'm going to undo that because I want the whole thing not just the little bit of it and so I'm going to click on this again to edit it actually I'm going to click on copy and then paste and I'm going to edit the copy and move that over here click on it again to edit and so say I just want to have this one month uh, in my on this note page and it's the month of May so I'm gonna drag these um, margins in and resize this and cut out all the other months I just want the month of May I change the opacity which means the um, how if you can see through the image or not and I'm just gonna leave it solid and click on done and then it will show me there on my note page the sticker just a little bit of the calendar that I wanted to leave on this page and then I can resize it with the corner toggles I can rotate it there's um, two different rotators where you can move it slightly or like 90 degrees at a time and I'm just gonna leave that as that is so now say I want to choose a different page in my planner to work with. I'm gonna um, go over here, click on that bottom gray page number, um, and this is the one I want to use this week 
this week's plan and I want to add um, another picture here so I'm going to click over here and choose a picture to put in here say I want to pretty this up a little bit and you can see in my uh, files I've collected many JPEGs and PNGs I'm going to select this Taco Tuesday click on high resolution and remember to change your tool to the lasso tool and then I can uh, resize this Taco Tuesday I can move it around to put it on Tuesday that would make the most sense right then I can resize it I can make it smaller or bigger I can move it over here to the right if I don't like it right next to the T for Tuesday and then let's see what else I can put in here that make us uh, pretty I like lots of decorations on my planners. I'm going to show you how to put these dates in here. You can put, so I'm going to edit this image. This is a whole sheet of printable um, stickers. It's a printable PDF that I have converted into a JPEG. And you can see it has met all these different colors and the numbers for the months. And I'm just going to pick a diff uh, little first. It's going to be May 1st. And so I resize that down. So I don't want any white edges. So I um, crop it in as close as I can. And again, you could change the opacity if you want it to be not as bright, um, a little less solid. And then I'm going to size this way down so that it'll fit over here next to the letter F for the for Friday Friday May 1st and then just reposition it and line it up till you like the way it looks let's see if we can add some text so you click on the pen and you have a lot of different options over here you can pick a different color you can um, choose the thickness and you could change the solid line to a dashed line there's different pens that you can pick. I like to use blue a lot. I'm going to click that done. And then you just can draw wherever you want. Down here on the bottom right is a tool that you can open up that is um, a palm pad. So that while you're writing, you can set your hand on the actual screen tablet. And you, I'm going to zoom in here. If you make the area that you want to write on bigger, it's easier to write clearly. And I just line it up with the area that I want to write. And then when I write, it's just a whole lot easier to write steadily when you can put your whole hand, for me, on the actual tablet or surface that I'm writing on. And then um, what I'm going to do is click on my lasso tool again so I don't accidentally write. And then you can um, zoom out and see it's uh, nice and clear in there. At this point, if you click on the, um, the square lasso tool, that is for circling a block of text or um, handwriting. And then you can move the whole word, the whole thing that you've just written to a different spot if you wanted to. And you can resize it, make it bigger. Or smaller. So once you have it um, moved in the position where you want it, I'm gonna go over here and I can show you how you can um, erase or undo what you just wrote. There's different size eraser tools, so you can erase um, just one letter. I say I didn't like that Y that I did. I could erase just the one letter. And let's just say I don't want the whole word there anymore. I can. Uh, erase go ahead and erase the whole thing just by swiping it off and if you use a bigger wider eraser tool it probably will erase it faster but just to show you how it works I just grabbed any one and let's go back and add some more pictures to our page or stickers so I'm gonna go into my files and uh, choose this little flower click open high resolution and remember to change to the lasso tool and then I'm going to reposition it. I can resize it, move it over here, 
and then you can also uh, go ahead and click on the click on the image click copy click again click paste and then you have a second one that you can move around and position wherever you like and then I'm going to show you if you move it down over a second sticker I want to show you how you can click on it click on the more and you can send that flower sticker to the back so that it shows up behind the Taco Tuesday sticker. If you click again and bring to the front, it brings it back up to the top. You can also click on the more and select that Taco Tuesday that's below. If you hit the select below, it will highlight the image that's below and then you can move that around. And then I'm also going to show you here how you can change your note settings. You can change the title of your note. You can click so that the first page shows on your root page when you are searching for your note. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just close these both out and take us back to the root page. And you can see here uh, that's the note that we were just working on. And I just would like to say thank you for joining me. I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to my channel.